bit chilly down here, very chilly indeed. Hello internet, welcome back to the channel. Merry Christmas and all that, and hope you've had a great Christmas and not overindulged too much and you're not too fragile. I'm all right, hope Santa brought everything you wanted. I was really shocked this year. I didn't think last year could be Trump, but no, I got two Lynx Africa sets, the shower gel and the deodorants, 19 pairs of socks, 19 pairs of socks. I now have drawers and drawers full of socks. I've only got about seven pairs of pants, but socks is not an issue anymore. So I'm happy, happy as a pig and poo. A little bit of candle making stuff and some jelly beans and yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm easily pleased, easily pleased. But yeah, no, I'm glad to actually have the break because the build up to Christmas was quite um, busy. Jordan and I had done three or four cabins in the space about 12 days. Didn't really see the light of day here. Had a few stayaways as well. Broke up just before Christmas and then we've just chilled and done nothing. But that's as far as it goes for me. I really can't. Yesterday we just sat there, just munching on food like you do on Boxing Day, watched film after film. That's enough sitting down for me because I have things to do. So like I said, the build up to uh, Christmas just wasn't seeing the light of day. And in, in that period of time, I managed to catch, I think it was five rats, about five rats. But they're just, um, well, they're not going anywhere because I've got another one this morning. And what I've done now, they've been branching from their tunneling system and they've tunneled their way out. I noticed yesterday that far away from the Avery which I'm not happy about. So I put a trap down, thinking, well, the rat's near phobia. He's gonna pop his head out there and go, trap, not touching that. He took the bait, he took the feed of her. He's still in it, I need to get him out. But yeah, I'm gonna go and show you the holes and how close it is, I'm getting a little bit worried. I know the Avery is protected as such, but rats, if they want something, they'll get in there. So I'm getting a little bit worried. So I'm gonna also talk about the birds and the Avery and how the jaws fare up, you know, because we had that very cold period in the lead up to Christmas. Then it warmed up and it's cooled down again. I didn't lose any birds, they're all happy. I didn't even have the heating on much because the cost of it, that's why it's so cold down here. Not having heating on, having heating on the house. If you wanna be warm, go in the house. But they're all right. But I haven't been in there, checked any boxes or anything for the best part of like a week and a half. Now there was eggs in finch boxes. There was eggs in budgie boxes. I've seen budgies eggs on the floor. So I know some budgies have kicked eggs out. So I'm gonna go in there and look at everything and show you this new rat hole and the rat situation just not really going anywhere. In fact, they're actually getting smaller, not bigger now, but they're still rats. So I'm gonna go up the house and get warm and finish my tea first, because like I said, it's a bit chilly down here. Tea, come on. Right, let's talk rat first. Now, as you may know, if you watch my videos regular, I've had an ongoing problem with rats and my Avery for the best part of nearly two years now. If you haven't got a clue what I'm on about, but you're watching this video because YouTube has sent you here because you're interested in either Avery's or you have a rat problem, or you have an Avery and a rat problem, then consider liking the video and subscribe to the channel. And then you can go back and go through my adventure and my dilemma and my trouble with rats. So, right, yes, so like I said, as you may well know from all my previous videos, that uh, since my Avery was moved from there when we built the bedroom to over this side of the garden, 100% uh, of my rat problem has been down here in this border, literally down here. That's where I've caught all the rats. Now, recently, like I said, discovering just yesterday, obviously I know that the rats are tunneling their way around the Avery and probably next door and stuff, because that's what rats do. But most of the time they've been seen just down here in this border until yesterday when I discovered down there a hole which I'll go and show you now over there right so I'm gonna try and climb around here so like I said this is me Avery there's Lucky good old Lucky there's the uh, the, the white finch down there that's the one that's got a bit of a problem but I'll talk about that in a bit when I'm talking about the Avery but in a minute I'm talking about rat problems so like I said yesterday I discovered that somewhere underneath excuse the mess it's a winter looking garden but that's uh, what everyone's garden looks like in winter rubbish so just down here you can see that's a bag of rat poison, which has obviously been there for quite a while, and they haven't touched it, but you can see there the fresh digging of a rat. Now, I discovered that yesterday in the daytime, so I decided to put a snap trap down here, and uh, if you're squeamish, look away. If you're not, just keep on looking. But literally, that's what I came down to this morning. Now, it was not a great big one at all, but he is a rat, which, like I said, with a neophobic, with neophobia, you wouldn't have thought that he'd touch that trap, but obviously peanut butter has um, got the better of him. So yeah, as you can see, clearly I have a problem. Now it's too close to the Avery, I don't like it at all. 
So I'm going to have to make sure, well, I'll have to up my game to try and eradicate these rats, which might mean going to buy some more traps. I'm going to order some proper poison blocks, which they take back to their nest, things like that, just to try and eradicate them. When I used them last time, I think I bought them off Amazon, about 20 quid for about 30, 40, maybe 50 lot poison blocks. Uh, and that probably gave me my biggest gap in rat problems. Probably been about six to nine months without seeing or hearing or any evidence of a rat. So I'm going to order some of them. But um, yeah, like I said, you can see quite clearly, oh, there's a post in the way there. You can see quite clearly how close it is to the aviary. Now, when I built this aviary, uh, we didn't put no broken glass down, but what we did do uh, is put some the slabs down, concrete the slabs down, and then the timber is around about, we're probably talking about three inches thick around the base of the aviary. And then we put in a, I think it was like a hundred mil uh, poured like got a mixer out here we mixed concrete and poured concrete in there and uh, there is there is no evidence of what I see of a rat trying to get in there in any way possible but like I said I can only actually see from that corner over there to that corner and then back to that corner I don't know what's going on behind there I haven't got a clue so fingers crossed nothing's going on behind there that's well I'm just hoping that's what's happening but like I said I'll just keep setting these I'm going to get rid of him uh, and then I'm going to go down there and reset them all. I had two days in a row where I had a snap trap and I also had the uh, humane cage trap set off overnight, but nothing in them. So they pretty much is activity every night. There might be a couple of days of a lull with nothing, peanut butter's not been touched, trap's not been set, but it doesn't last long before they're back again. Well, I will deal with them, I will. Right, okay, I've been round all the boxes in the aviary, and it does appear that all the budgie eggs that were in boxes had been binned off for whatever reason, but that's just what the budgies do this time of year. Well, like I said, I won't take the boxes out because they all do sleep in them at night. So Mummy Budgie now has two more eggs when she did have three, but I know she binned all hers out, and now she's laid two more, shush Mummy. Uh, the box next to Mummy's there, uh, there is none in there at all. There, I think there was three or four eggs in there, none in there at all, and Violet's booted all hers out, but she has laid another one. Finch-wise, nothing up this end, nothing around there, but the three houses on the right-hand side again, there's about four eggs in there, there's one in the middle, and then there's a couple in the box at the top there, so I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like I said, I'm not, like, it is winter, I'm not taking the boxes out, I never do. They either breed or they don't, and usually, if they do breed in winter, I have about 90% success of the, the fledglings. They survive, not a problem. But um, like I said, heating-wise, I've not put no heating on in here at all because I don't know about you, with the cost of living and stuff, our electric and gas bill is over 500 pounds a month. So I'm not adding to it, mummy. I'm not adding to it by putting heat on in here when they have actually survived winters without the heat. Uh, so unfortunately, that's what I have to do. So what I'm gonna do now, obviously, so everything's okay, uh, box-wise. I did give it a clean the other day. It needs another clean. It did have a deep clean a week or so ago, but it needs it all again because birds are dirty, as you well know. You know the idea I had of having two, uh, one of the baby budgies in a cage in the shed to train it? Changed my mind on that idea because, as we all know, how messy birds can be when they're indoors in a cage. So I'm not going with that idea. I'm just going to keep them. Obviously, I can't get rid of them. I could sell them to a pet shop, but then they've got to put them in isolation. They can't be moved into homes and stuff. So I'm just going to leave it as it is and just leave them in here. So obviously, I've got the three new ones. And uh, well, there was one for mummy and stuff. I, I lose count. I really do. But what I wanted to talk about is the, the new fledgling finch uh, and the, the white finch that is on the floor somewhere. She seems to be all right. She perked up a bit uh, this morning because yesterday she wasn't great. But this morning she seems all right. She's lost a tail feather, but I'm going to try and catch her and have a look at her. Well, I'll give it a shot anyway. She's fast. Like I said, feather-wise, she seems thought very difficult to catch. Very difficult to catch indeed, little shite. But she, um, you know, last night she looked a bit, she does have, 
a tiny bit of blood. See, I'm just wondering whether like she may have got caught out by the rabbits because the rabbits can be quite boisterous. And you know how rabbits kick around, thump around. She might have just been feeding on the floor uh, and then just got kicked by a rabbit. And uh, But like I said, she has. There's a lot of damage on her wing there. I don't know, I don't know if you can see that on camera. Probably not. Nah, it's very difficult. But like I said, she's lost her main tail feather. Uh, she is very, very mobile. So I'm just going to keep an eye on her, see what happens. Hopefully nothing. And uh, fingers crossed she, um, well, she's going to go one or two ways, unfortunately. And hopefully it's not the wrong way. So I'm going to let her go. But she is, like I said yesterday, she was just flapping around on the floor. And it looked like she had one wing hanging out. She's actually trying to get up this morning. The little fledgling is now starting to move around more. It kind of like... Uh, obviously, if you keep zebra finches, you probably know that when you get like fledglings, they start to flap around. Other males and females will tend to just want to see them off, which they end up then just knackered on the floor. Uh, so, I spent probably two or three nights where I've had to put it into a box, which it does stay in overnight, but in the daytime, it just ends up on the floor. It's getting fed. Ends up on the floor and sitting in the corner because it's just too tired. But today and um, half of yesterday, it is now mobile. It's flying all the way up to the top in one go from the floor. So fingers crossed, yeah, it'll be all right. Everything else, absolutely fine. Rabbits, gonna feed them because they eat out of house and home. Lucky's lucky and everyone else is doing all right. Yeah, doing all right in here. Yeah, that'll be that. All done. Right, everyone's okay in there. Just going to keep an eye on the little fledgling and the, the little white mum finch. Uh, and, well, I'm just going to keep an eye on them all, aren't I? Because I'm Avery. And um, I'm going to keep an eye on the rat problem. It is an ongoing thing. It's a big battle, but battles are long. They're not fought overnight. But it's going to go on and on and on because it has been doing for long enough now. So I don't know if I'm working between Christmas and New Year. really want to because money was. I've actually put the heating on down here, so shh, don't tell Emma. Because I'm sitting here, I'm doing some editing, so I don't want to be freezing cold. Although it has warmed up a bit, but it's getting very, very windy indeed. I have removed the rat, I've placed it somewhere, which if something happens, I'll inform you. If it doesn't, then, well, I won't inform you, will I? But I will keep you updated, probably between now and the new year. It'll just be in uh, a YouTube short or something. I'm not going to be making another video this side of Christmas. Uh, Christmas? Christmas is gone. I would definitely be making a video this side of Christmas next year, no doubt. But no, thank you so much for watching all my videos, especially 2022. Really appreciate every single one of you. I really, really do. I honestly say that every time, but I do, because if it weren't for you lot, then I wouldn't be making these videos, would I? So I am making them because of you, so thank you very much. So like I said, I won't see you until 2023 in a proper video, unless something drastic happens. But other than that, I'll just update you in shorts. So yeah. Like I said, thanks for watching. I'm going to grab myself a beer out of the fridge, got the heating on, and I'm going to do some editing whilst they're all up there doing their own thing. So yeah, goodbye. Beer out of the fridge first. <laughs>